This is my 1986 Toyota pickup truck. You now, looking at it right now, I mean, it's not pretty. Uh, this is just a spray paint job on the hood and fender that I did years ago, but uh, it's covered in moss. We've also got the Hyundai over here. But uh, yeah, so if you're watching this video, you're probably one of two people. Either you like Toyota pickup trucks or you're a subscriber of mine and you like my videos. All right guys, so a little backstory on this truck. Uh, my dad's dad passed away in March of 2011. And shortly after that, in May of 2000, May or June, it was the summer of 2011, uh, my mom's dad, um, this, this truck was his, uh, he was picking his friend up. Uh, he lived right down the road from us. He didn't work. So my grandpa on his way to work would drop him off in town. He'd pick him up on his way home. So uh, he was on his way to pick him up after work. And uh, he was waiting at a train track. And so the train, he, he was waiting for a train to come through. The train's lights had started flashing. They didn't have the rails coming down. Like when you're driving through town, it doesn't have the little rails coming down but uh he stopped the train was coming and the 17 year old kid decided that he could beat the train but he couldn't uh it didn't like kill him or anything it just hit the tail end of his truck and the train pushed his truck into my grandpa's truck on the driver's side and uh kind of caved in that front end so that is what happened to this truck. Uh, I had to redo this intro, so hopefully this is shorter. That's a better explanation, but uh, yeah. I asked my grandpa if I could have it to restore it, and he said he did not care. <laughs> but uh, when, the, when the insurance company wanted to total it out and take it, he refused to let them take it. But... I've always wanted a project vehicle, and now that Austin has shown interest in the junkyard, uh, this baby's getting fixed. So this is the journey of that, and I want to take you guys along for it. I hope this intro wasn't too long. So my grandparents bought this truck brand new in 86, I guess. Uh, could have been 85, depending on when it was manufactured, but I did ask my grandma when uh, when, when they bought it, how much was it? And she said $7,500, brand new. So uh, if you know anything about Toyota pickups, that's still a good price for a Toyota pickup today. I've been offered $5,000 for this truck as it sits, and I've turned it down. My grandpa asked me why would I do that. The reason is uh, this was the truck that he drove my entire childhood. We had uh, this and we had a 1992 Celica that he would like swap in and out of. And uh, so he, dri he drives to Huntsville every day. And so he needs something good on gas. So he had this truck, he had that Celica. And once my grandma had got a new car, they kept the Celica. He drove that for a while, a couple of years, and then he went back to driving this. And uh, yeah, so during the period that he went back to driving this after the Celica, that's when that wreck happened. But this is the truck that he would take me to daycare in. This house that I live in was my great grandparents, and like everybody worked, so. I'd get off the school bus here and the bus would run at four o'clock and he would get off at four, but it'd take him about an hour to get home. So come five o'clock, I'd be outside. I'd hear the exhaust coming off this truck and be like, there's Papa, he's, he's gonna be here like any minute. Sure enough, it's him coming down the road. He'd come here and pick me up. He'd eat, he'd eat supper and uh, we'd go back to his house. And, this truck just holds a lot of sentimental value to me. And uh, 
even if it sat here like this, I would never get rid of it. Never ever. So the last time this truck was cranked, I believe it was the summer of 2019. Oh dang, dude. I knocked that out way better than I thought I did. I thought it was still caved in like mostly. So uh, it does drive. Like I, I, I've driven it to town since it was totaled, <laughs> but uh, wouldn't recommend that. Um, I do need to get a dolly set so I can knock this the rest of the way out. But I mean, I want to get a brand new hood. This one's detached and looks like there's a fire under it. Uh, the junkyard that you saw recently, if you if you watch my videos, recently I did a video on a junkyard. Um, at that junkyard, I got this fender and this hood, and I think some of the light, uh, the headlight mounting, because if you look down here, that's pretty beat up. So, uh, this needs to be addressed. This needs to be addressed. Um... Pretty much we just gotta make that look like that. Um, I do have a new grill. I actually purchased a new grill. That's gross back here, but there's the old grill. So I purchased the new grill off eBay and took my grandpa's old grill and took the emblem off of it, stuck that on the a uh, new one. So it's got the original emblem on it. Um, somewhere back here should be a back glass because this back glass came off of a 95 Toyota that I had. And I think that seal would still work for that other glass. But uh, I didn't like this sliding glass that was on that 95 Toyota and my grandpa was like, well, let's just pull the back glass off the 86 so we did that um as far as paint goes like it's got some uh it's got some moss growing on it you know but uh it's just part of it uh i'll probably get the hood and the fender painted because like that that color i love the color of the truck I don't even think it like really has a clear coat left on it. So I don't know how easy it'd be to match that. But body wise, nothing else is wrong besides that front end damage. Uh, you got, my grandpa's a big Alabama fan. If you don't know, I am a South Carolina fan. There was a Dale Earnhardt sticker on this side, but it, it didn't hold up as well as that Alabama one did. Toyota Town, Huntsville. Uh, this is my grandpa's toolbox that he had on this truck when I was a kid. When I got that 95, he let me use that on that truck. Uh, I ended up using it on my uh, 2006 Toyota also. So, uh, never, got, never got rid of that with any of the vehicles that I got rid of. <clears throat> Um, we will get this cleaned out. I know that much. It, it's been used as a trash can by all my ex-roommates. The tires are completely dry rotted. Uh, that's just bad. This car, though, has new tires, and I'm not sure. Yeah, they're not the same size, so never mind. I think all those are trailer tires, like you just put those on it. I'm gonna have to get a new radiator because the last time that it was cranked, the radiator was leaking. Oh my God, no. That's been opened. That's supposed to be sitting down lower and not opened, exposed. Jeez, I, every time I open this up, there's a bunch of acorns in it. 
so you can expect that when we do get it opened yep oh there you go there they are acorns whatever's been living in here left their acorn collection but yeah i plan on pulling this out today and getting a better look at it and showing you guys there's the interior and oh my god the dash is cracked you guys know if, if you're here for toyota videos like you know the dash is always cracked but uh the seat is awful i don't know if i might, I might put some padding down it's hard to find a seat though and like the stuff that my grandpa did to it i don't want to change it my grandpa's still alive but i like the stuff that he did like uh the back back here was rusting so he filled some of that in and painted it with like house paints <laughs> I just uh, like the quirky little things that he's done to it. Uh, one thing that I did do that he had changed, but he took the antenna off that he put on it. There was a metal antenna on here. And uh, Walmart sold pretty much what the original antenna looked like. So I got that antenna and put it on there. It's just rubber. But uh, the 86, his did not come with a passenger side rear view mirror. And uh, I always thought that was weird as a kid. But didn't have one. So this one ain't going to have one. I think if it comes factory, you don't have to, you don't have to have one. But anyways... We'll get this guy pulled out and we'll take a better look at it. That's going to have to be lined up. The frame has to come out more. I don't even know how in the hell I drove this to town. I don't even know if the hood latches, but I did. I drove it to town in like 2016. No insurance. Nothing. All right, so first things first. I need to see if these tires will hold any air so we can roll it out of here. I don't have an air compressor, but I do have a little tire pumper. So this is going to take a while. So, I guess enter time lapse mode. So the back passenger tire seems to be holding air. Like, I mean, they weren't leaking. It just sat for five years. These two on this side, like they're not down to the rim. So maybe that's a good sign. That one looks like it may not be the worst. But uh, as far as I can remember, the uh, tires on this truck my grandpa bought fairly recent to the uh the wreck so i mean like i'm gonna get new tires but uh that front one might be having some trouble airing up uh, anyways i just wanted to update y'all that uh that one is holding air all right so this tire no good no good so uh we're gonna air up these two i think there's a spare on the back so if it is, I'll take that off, put it on the front one. But three out of four ain't bad. All right, uh, we got enough air in three tires that I'm just gonna hook it up and pull it out because I don't want to get on the ground out here to get that spare out. Spare's underneath there. I need to get a jack. It's not going to jack good back here. So we'll pull it out. Pull it over there. 
and hopefully the water hose will reach where I can give this boy an old hose down. You probably can't see Ginger, she's out there in the barnyard. But, yeah, that's where we're at. All right, so this may be sketchy, but uh, I have a ratchet strap tied to it. Uh, Austin's gonna steer the truck and we're gonna pull it out, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully it pulls out. That didn't work. Am I done? Don't be. I'm starting to we can't do it. That did not work. You have to tension it up. So. Whoa, Scott, Wait. I'm getting in. So it's pulled out now. We just got to get it back on the concrete. Because that's where I want to work on it at. I broke my ratchet strap. Not meant for towing. We got it this far though. Alright, so instead of ruining any more of my ratchet straps, we're going to go to my grandpa's house and get his chain. Once it's up on the like slab, it'll be fine. We can push it around and stuff. We got to get that chain though. Guys, we got us a chain now. I got a brush to wash it and then we got a jack so that I can get that tire off. But uh, yeah, let's do this thing. It's on solid ground. All right, now that we got it out of here, we can take a better look at it. Look at that, look at this beautiful truck. I'm gonna have to throw a bunch of this stuff away. Oh yeah. Turn that key. Left the 
All right, so up underneath here, damn dogs. Let's see. I got this hole to release the spare, but I don't have said tool to release the spare. So I found this. Let's see if I can set you all up where, where you can see it. There's a wasp. Damn it, there's a bunch of wasps. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this won't turn it. I guess. I'm hoping my little redneck ingenuity will work. Is it turning? I can't see. Man. I can't see. I can't see nothing. Concrete's hot though. Ugh. It's turning it. It's turning it. Get another bite. I think we're doing something. This might take 10 years. I think we're doing it. Alright, I'm gonna work on this. I'll be back with you in a minute. Alright, I got the tire down. Now I just gotta hope that I got a socket to change the change the tire out. Okay, so Got some sockets. Let's find the right one. Hopefully. Mm. Nope. It's not the right size. Check my shed. I found one. Hopefully, I don't bust my knuckles on this. Come on. Oh, WD forty.
Well, I semi know what I'm looking for. Back to my grandpa's house to find the right socket. Five of them broke. Now, fun part. Okay. Here's our spare. Let's hope that it holds there. What is up with these wasps, man? Okay, it's holding. We got uh, 24 pounds in it, so that's more than all the rest of them. It, uh, <clears throat> It does have some major uh, dry rotting right here. It only had like two pounds in it when I started airing it up. When you pressed it down, it was uh, caving in pretty good, but it seems like it's holding fine. Like I said, this is just to get it rolling around. So, at least putting it on is gonna be a lot easier than taking it off. Those things were stuck. Theoretically, should be able to push this thing around a lot easier now. So, 
with the e-brake off of it and see if me and Austin can't get it pushed over where we can give it a little rinse. That may or may not go to this truck. That may or may not go to this truck also. That's my new bumper. See now, I don't know if this came off the Celica or this truck. Trashy, trashy, trash. stupid wasp if you can see right there's the new back glass to go back here i bought that a long time ago uh brand new bumper brand new grill um this is the old bumper you can see it's like that on the front um it uh it got demolished so this piece 
supposed to come off. Um, I think you can get those new on eBay for like $10. So I may go that route. I have the originals, but that one came off. Um, new grill, there's the old grill. Uh, I still have them in case there's anything that I'm forgetting to take off. Like you see these pieces right here. Gotta get those off and put on the new, the new bumper. The old grill, it's got a bunch of snaps that I might need, so I don't want to get rid of them. Not yet, anyways. And I believe that this seal will work on that window. I have a seal that I found, because these seals are like $70 new, uh, but I have two of them, one on that window, and I guess this is sitting around wherever I found that back glass. Uh, so if it'll work or not, I don't know. Looks like it might be too thick. May not be though, maybe the same size. But uh, yeah, and I got this cleaned out for the most part. Uh, if we can get it moved over there, I wanna try and get it washed before this video is over with. Got another one, little bastard. Anyways, been sweeping this out a little bit. You can see the bed of the truck again. Oh. This is making my heart happy. I love this truck. All right, I'm gonna try and get the rest of this swept out. We got, we've got a few visitors. Daisy is not my dog. She's the neighbor's dog. Brittany's my dog though. But uh, here's what we're looking like. Bet y'all didn't think it looked that good underneath there. So like I said, uh, my grandparents bought this truck new. They've always lived in Alabama, so this truck's always been in Alabama. When you see a lot of these Toyotas, if they're like past Kentucky, there's a good chance they're gonna be rusted out in the bottom. So this truck, I mean, it has some surface rust, just like usual wear, but uh, there's actually my grandpa going home right now. So like I said uh, earlier about him always driving by at five, still does it to this day um but it's always been in alabama so you don't have to worry about the salt on the road stuff and the frame solid the frame wasn't touched during the wreck i'm just excited to have this thing somewhat presentable again um i'll have to do some research on what all it needs to uh, be road legal and get a rebuilt title on it. But uh, I don't think it'll take too much work because when they totaled it out, my grandparents said that the insurance company offered them like $850 for it. My grandpa wouldn't take that, so good on him. But uh, yeah. I got the bed cleaned out for the most part. Another wasp. You get over here, buddy, you're gonna die. So, what do we gotta hook back up? Let's hook back up. Yeah, that's on there about as good as it's gonna be.
probably gonna have to be replaced. A lot of this is gonna have to be replaced. Where's I just want to get this stuff put back where it's supposed to be. That way I'll remember. That's supposed to be right there where my wing nut go. So, where does this go? No, oh, back here. Where it should be, this is what your this is what your stack twenty two R motor should be like. <laughs> Maybe not that dirty, but my grandpa never fancied anything up, so Yeah, I mean I got all that stuff put back in there, so that's good. Um, as far as pulling. All right, a little update, If, as you can see right here. That back wheel's locked up, so I'm gonna have to do some stuff to that. But I got it moved. So uh, let me see if the uh, water hose will reach over here. I won't even wash it off. If you know me personally, then you know that I do not ever wash my truck. I think I, the last time I washed my truck was when I bought it from my dad. And uh, yeah, that was two years ago. So uh, I had to go to Walmart and get a new sponge. I used to wash my vehicles, but it's just too much work. But uh, this one absolutely needs it. So we're gonna do that. So here we go. guys so I mean hopefully you can see the potential now I couldn't get all this off I didn't spend that much time on it though so but you can actually see through the windows now you can see how busted my windshield is driving back and forth from uh, Huntsville definitely has some wear. Need to get that better. But uh, yeah. 
I'm pleased with it. I think it looks great. Uh, one of the main reasons why I didn't finish cleaning this hood is I'm probably going to get a new hood. Because, uh, that, uh, you can do that. Because the uh, support underneath it is not attached to the hood. It is, but it's on like all four corners and not in the middle to keep it all from doing that. But uh, that fender is going to need some work. The door doesn't open all the way. kind of does, but it doesn't. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably work on the interior. That radio in there, actually, uh, my grandpa put that in here. That was the first radio he got after the uh, factory radio, which I found out wasn't even factory. Like, so this truck doesn't have air conditioning. It, uh, my grandma said they had to buy the bumpers for it. Um, so yeah, everything was extra on this, but uh, it had a tape deck in it. And I remember when he put that radio in, cause I told you about the uh, antenna here little antenna so the tape deck in this truck he uh he had two tapes that he would listen to and it was pink floyd uh it was pink floyd live i have the cassette tapes and as awesome as it would be so the camera cut off on me but um this is the next day uh i was saying uh my grandpa had the pink floyd cassettes that's pretty much all he would listen to unless he had like the radio on. I'm not gonna put a cassette tape player in here uh, cause he changed it out to a uh, dual, it's like the cheap brand at Walmart, but a uh, dual radio with a CD player. I have a dual radio in that Hyundai that has Bluetooth. It was only like $20. I think they've gone up like a little bit now, but uh, it's a good radio. In that Hyundai, I just need to pull it cause I'm planning on scrapping that Hyundai. Here's a fun little thing for you. 380,485 miles. That's a lot of driving. Talk about this video sponsors. Dr. Pepper Zero. It is cool and refreshing and I love it. Yum. I'm gonna work. All right. Well, I got the wrench in my pocket, and we're just gonna take her on out. Surely to God, it's not just two bolts holding this whole seat in. There we go. there just so you know I am as dumb as I look come on that thing is in there need some WD-40 The guy that rents out my front pasture is spraying right now. Ow! I 
actually learned it at work when you got bolts that are irritatingly hard to reach working on grinders you gotta get creative but uh take your another wrench and use it as a cheater bar At what point? <sighs> you bastard. Oh, I got you. Uh, that's all I wanted. Well, there's one of them. I'll have to remove the seat belts. You're smaller than me, so I might have to just have you walk it through. All right, pick up on that side. bunch of, I have taken the seats out of this before I think I think me and Shaw pulled it out to wire some speakers one time um, my grandpa ran these speakers I can run new speaker wire uh, there is a that's for a radio kit use that I guess. It was spitter. Look at him. Fuse box cover. I bet no joke, I'll bet that on eBay is at least like fifteen dollars for an OEM part. There's a dime. So my grandpa is a carpenter and uh he has been in some videos before about without him knowing uh there was um i might have got a snippet all the shelves that i have built for uh built for my dvds and stuff he built i mean i could say that i helped him but i really didn't but uh yeah he built all those he uh had a hand in building this house he built his own house. He helped build my mom's house. And he is an amazing carpenter. <laughs> uh, that was probably mine. A little dum dum uh, wrapper. I know uh, when he'd pick me up, if we went by the bank, his bank would give me um, dum dums. And this. Holy crap, if you don't know what this is, this is Cyclops' uh, eyewear. This went to my toy. I had the uh, the Cyclops toy when I was a kid, and I just found the eyepiece to it. Keeping that. A little progress report. Um, I've gotten, I need, I still need to start working on this side. I've been working mainly on that side, but I broke out some armor all, been, uh, vacuuming, cleaned all that thing out. Um, found this picture of me from when I was like two. It was in the truck. He didn't have pictures of nobody else, but he had a picture of me. That's all that counts. Um... So this armor all, I've been putting it on this, and you might can see a difference in like the radio assembly in this one. I've been working hard on this. I picked this up, uh, cleaned it off a little bit, 
needs to be cleaned off better um but that i got everything out of it it still needs to be like deep cleaned it's gross uh the steering wheel still has mold all over it but uh i figured we could work on some stuff over here so let me set y'all up guys so here's the progress I mean I'm pretty pleased with it the seat still don't know what to do about the seat if I could keep it and reupholster it or something uh, I'd like to do that but yeah the, the initial cleaning is done I mean the rest of it's just detailing but um, we'll wait to do that until later on but we got her a wash in this episode and we got the inside cleaned out you got a little bit of a backstory as to this truck what it means to me i guess but uh yeah i think that's where we're gonna cut this one off uh stay tuned we're gonna have an episode two i'm not sure what that'll mean it'll probably be that wheel bearing working on it um I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to go into the engine, but uh, I guess I'll do it if I have to. But thank you for watching. As always, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a little fun along the way. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. So, let's rate this, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10, don't even waste your money. And 10 being, oh my God, so good. I'm going to give this, man, I was impressed. Better than I thought it was going to be. I would give it a 91. 